Creality is preparing to release the Creality Ender 6 Core XY with some sort of an enclosure. The Ender 6 comes with a silent motherboard, Trinamic 2208 imported stepper controllers and a volume of 250 by 250 by 400. I think the volume is generous, but that is where it all ends. They are using the same hot end and nozzle and they have been cutting corners with using pressure rollers on V-slot rails for the bed to move up and down the frame. That would not be a terrible idea, the only problem is that the vertical V-slot rails are at the back of the bed dolly. I did have some trouble keeping the proper pressure and tuning the proper pressure on the X-axis on my Cartesian Creality's, so maybe this bed dolly moving up and down on pressure rollers might not be the greatest idea. But let's go on. The Ender 6 will probably cause those rollers to flatten out from the pressure applied. The good thing is that there are two rails and four rollers per rail, not like in the Cartesian X gantry where there's only three. So perhaps the bed dolly would stay secured on those two rails. I am still skeptical of the rigidity of the bed dolly since it's secured only at the back of the printer, leaving a lot of room for vibrations to creep in at the front of the bed and the dolly. Other than that, the Ender 6 seems inconsequential. However, it is a decent move because it is their first Core XY attempt, or at least that's the only one I'm aware of. The filament path needs to be upgraded for sure because it's the same from forever ago, or at least it looks like the same from whenever ago. Skimming through the recording of the live stream, I did not see any blazing 3D printing speeds claimed in the advertisements. Actually, it was printing at quite low speeds. As we have gotten used to, soon after, they will release the Creality Ender 6 Pro with some minor improvements meant to alleviate the problems that are aware already, but why not have us pay for their R&D? Then, release the improvements in another printer at the higher cost. But until then, I bid Demon Amis farewell and adieu.